that's what turned them to this from increased popularity in Western style coffee shops. The shop we are looking at now is called SIT, or Sculpting in Time. The shop advertises as a coffee shop, but also sells a variety of Western style and Chinese foods. The store is located right next to Nanjing University's campus. It's popular among students and student groups. It's also popular with Chinese people and Westerners. This shop is AJ's Coffee. As you enter, there's some confusion with the shop name. While it's called AJ's Coffee, there are definitely awnings and decorations outside that bear the name Costa Coffee, a popular chain of Western coffee shops here in China. Other than coffee, AJ's also sells beer and some Western style foods. It's also in the university area. Across the street from AJ's is Sir Coffee. The atmosphere of the two shops is quite similar. Inside, I notice the same demographics mainly young people. Unlike SIT, the people inside seem to be chatting, watching movies, and hanging out rather than doing work. Here we're inside a friend's coffee. The shop is located on the western side of Nanjing. It is near a more scenic area and is about a 15 minute trade ride from the downtown area. As you may notice, besides the one barista, the shop is empty. The store mainly serves coffee products and also serves some small desserts. A cup of coffee here and at similar coffee shops would cost about 30 yuan, which is about 5 or 6 US dollars. The atmosphere of the store is very similar to other European or Western style shops I have visited. It is reminiscent of Starbucks. The interior is mainly wood, there are a variety of comfortable looking chairs, there are table space for individuals to eat and work, there is an abundance of natural lighting, and as well, the shop has personality such as interesting photographs, artwork made by customers, bookshelves, cute trinkets for sale, and many other things. This is a Chinese style dessert and drink shop. It's called the Happy Inn. Besides the Western style coffee shops we visited, I would consider this to be the Chinese equivalent to a cafe. The shop features bizarre pastries and treats such as chocolate buns with fried pork flakes on top, hot dogs inside of croissants, and sweet flavored breads. It mainly sells tea and milk tea, as well as some juices. The atmosphere we visited here is very different than the western style shops we've looked at. The lighting, the furniture, the products are all very different.